What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server and I am just coming back from the swamp biome over there just to get some slime balls because I want to finish off my farm and I'm running low on sticky pistons so hopefully we can get some of that done today. Oh, Trevor is still there. Trevor, you're amazing, you've been there from day one. You're my best friend, you've been there for ages. I think Conman is threatening to do something to Trevor, I don't trust him. Now, Trevor's been there from day one and if he does something to Conman, um, if he does something to to Trevor, say con man moves him or something like that. I think that'd be so mean because how am I going to get him back up there? That is his home, that one dirt grass block up there. That is Trevor's home, so he needs to stay there. Think about it, con man. If you move him, how am I going to get him back? Trevor has to stay. We've got to think of a way to protect him or something. <laughs> yeah, but last episode, guys, what did we do? We went and cut down some trees, and we kind of just spoke a little bit, you know? I kind of told you some stuff which is going on, and the response from you guys was amazing. It really was. You guys are honestly the most awesome subscribers. I couldn't ask for any better subscribers than you guys. You just, you're just really supportive, and you just understood what was going on, and you honestly are amazing. Um, I got a few comments, people saying, oh, you shouldn't be really involved and it's not your place to talk here but they don't really know what they're talking about to be honest um i'm definitely involved and yeah i'm gonna stay involved there's no way i'm i'm going out of that situation uh, i'm gonna be right by his eye side all the time but anyway um what do we want to do in this episode there's a first thing i want to do i want to show you something i did some stuff off camera because i'm kind of disappointed with the progress of my house i think the last couple of episodes been a bit slow i haven't really done much so what i did I decided to dig out this room here. Now what this is going to be, this is going to be my shout out room which I kind of said I was going to do such a long time ago. So yeah, and on the opposite side over there I think I'm going to dig out a similar space and we're going to do a bedroom. But with the bedroom, it's going to be a similar size here but we're going to have little inserts into the wall. And I think I'm going to do, it's kind of like, I think it's called a quick, quick kit machine or something like that where you walk in and it activates all the hoppers and it puts the armor on you and stuff like that so we're going to work that out in that episode um in the later episode when we do that uh shout out shout out rooms coming up soon someone gave me an idea for it they uploaded a video a little while ago which i didn't see so i've seen it now and he gave me a really nice idea for it so i'm gonna do that um yes uh, what else do i want to do i want to build an iron golem outside the front of my house so because them damn zombies keep coming to get my villagers and I don't want them to do it anymore we need to protect them zombies so let's do some iron blocks uh, how many do you need? you need four right? I think it's four I think it's four and then you need I want to make two so I'm going to make eight actually I'm going to make eight of them oh, what? alright let's do this I want because I want to make one for the inside because I keep spawning on the inside of my house. So, uh, no, wait, let's put them there. Can I only make four there, right? No, I need one more there. All right, we've got eight. That's what I want. All right, and we need two pumpkins, which I haven't got down here. They're up at the top near my pumpkin farm. I kind of did a little bit on there as well on my farms, which I'm going to show you now, actually. Um, did I show you it in the live stream? You might see some of it in the live stream, but. If you haven't watched the live stream, I kind of like marked it out. I made the farms a bit smaller. I done a, a T flip flop, a little compact one. I will show you guys how to do it if I get some time towards the end of the episode. If not, I do plan to do a tutorial on it because it is really good. Um, I want to get a pumpkin. Have I got any in here? No, I've got that's all sticky pieces. I've got just eight. I need much more than that. All right, let's get some pumpkins from over here. I think they're in this one. Yep, we need two of you. And we're going to make some iron golems to protect my house. So one's going to go on the inside and one's going to get on the outside. And I want you guys to name them. We're going to name these iron golems. Uh, right. Oh, that's wrong. Right, I think that's how you make them, right? And then we put a gole uh, golem. Uh, pumpkin. Nice. Now, guys, name him. What is he going to be called? Put his name, what you think you'd call him in the comments. And we're going to make one on the outside. And look at this, it's coming night time now, so it's like perfect timing. Let's do one on the outside. And hopefully these are going to protect my house. All right, you two, you need to protect. I want you guys to name name the villager, um, name the iron golems. But yeah, guys, we are going to go and work some more on that farm. I need to make some sticky pistons because... That, oh, don't kill yourself, golem. Don't fall off the edge. Yeah, I need to make some more sticky pistons for... The farm area. Um, 
need to make pistons first. So let's. Get, I've got so much rubbish in my inventory. Let's just get. I'm just gonna dump a lot of it in this chest. I know it's not organized, but I'm just gonna put a lot in there for now. I kind of need that. Let's put the iron back in here. Um, I know they go in there. So let's put them in there. And I don't know why I have coal on me. Oh, because I made some torches earlier. And they go in there, and the food goes in here. So let's do that. If you can hear background noise, guys, it's because I've got my window open. It's so hot, and I need, um, it's just too hot. I need some air, because it gets so hot when I record. So I've got my windows open. Now, actually, I'm going to have a little sip of my drink, because it just gets so hot in here. But yeah, let's make some, make some sticky pistons. Right. Let's get some of these. Oh, I actually needed some iron, didn't I? For that, let's get this. Um, let's make a stack of sticky pistons if I can. We need some wood. I should have some. I cut down a lot of trees. Yep, there we go. I haven't got no normal one, so let's make some sticky pistons. Right. Oh, redstone. We need a stack of redstone as well. Let's get that. All right, let's make these. Have I got enough to make a stack? I think I have. Redstone, iron, bam, piston. 63? Yeah, 63 would do. Alright, and let's make them sticky. Cool, we've got a stack of sticky pistons. Now we can start getting to work on the farms over there. Do I have... I don't think I have any... Oh, comparators. Yep, there we go. Need some comparators and we need some... We need some... Some of these. What they're called? Repeaters. We need some of these, so let's... Is this how you make them? Is that how you do it? That made one. Right, that is how you do it. Let's get some more redstone. And we need some of them too. And let's do... Where is it? There we go. Put that there. Split these two up. Bam. Got some repeaters. Right, now we can get started on the farms. I'm trying to get these farms done as quick as, po quick as possible. Is the iron golem working? Where's he gone? I hope you've killed some some zombies. Where's he gone? He's over there. All right, cool. You better protect my house. Yeah, I'm trying to get these farms done as quick as possible because I feel like I've done so many episodes on farms now. We just need to get all these farms done as quick as we can because um, I want to start work on my village. I want to do my bedroom, my shout out room and stuff. Yeah, so I want to get these farms done as quick as I can. So I'm going to show you the circuitry for this one here with a little compact T flip flop. Um, kind of need to dig out this area here because this is where the pistons are going to go. I'm not going to put any plants or, or um, water in these at the moment because I just want to show you how it works. I've got an axe here. Oh, the water's in there already. All right, let's just dig out this. So dirt. Oh, wow. Messed up that. Doesn't matter. See, it works. And I need to put hoppers down there too. Uh, this needs to go as well. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get some pistons. And we're going to, well, no. Damn it. Let's get this stuff. I don't want to get rid of the wood. This is, I'm doing all of this because just because I'm being awkward, I don't want to get rid of the wood. <laughs> That's the whole reason I'm doing it. Right, let's, right, let's put these pistons down here like this and then I can put that piece of dirt back I can put all the piece of dirt back now like this and I just want to show you how I've wired this up because I don't know if you if you guys are like me I don't really like the look of levers so I don't like to put levers on my farm that that much just because I think they look ugly I prefer just to put buttons there so that's why that's the whole point of a T flip flop a T flip flop basically turns and, and I don't think people really describe it this way but this is the way I describe it they basically turn um, buttons into levers. They they make buttons act the same way levers would act. So let's put this redstone back on here. Oh, and I didn't realise that comparators use quartz blocks. So I used all my quartz I had left to make the comparators. But let me show you how this T flip flop works. Um, if I uh, can't really show you from down here. Basically, you press that button, then this piston pulls that block uh, back in there, and then when I press it again, it will do like a really quick tick, and it'll push it out and then pull back without pulling the block back, if you know what I mean. But anyway, we are gonna do it here. So what we need to do, we need to put the repeaters all in here. 
like that and then we wire up our redstone like this and kind of need to go down in this direction because I need to work out where I want the button to go let's put some torches down here so nothing spawns uh, let's go up and work out where I want the button to actually go um, the button's gonna go on this one here so let's just dig down here because this is where the button's gonna go button's gonna go on there and we are going to need to get rid of this block here because that is where the redstone is going to go on top of um but yeah guys remember i said in my last couple of episodes that i wanted to record some different games and if you guys follow me on twitter what you will know is that i recorded some sleeping dogs uh the other day uh, it's probably going to be up next week because i'm just trying to think around my schedule and how it's going to be up well, it'll probably be up next week if you hold on guys let me just explain this to you that right there the button will go on there if i've got any wood let's make this make a button all right the button's gonna go on there and because the redstone is directly underneath that block it will light up that so that's cool so now we need to get the power from this block out into this area so what you do from there is you put a repeater coming out of that block so it kind of like sucks the power from that block and put points it this way and that's that's exactly what we need to do and then what we need to do we need to get another block on there let's get rid of this redstone here um, I need to go and check if I've got some torches and stuff up here. I'm not sure if I have. Let's go and have a look. Um, I've got redstone. I've got sticks. Right, let's make some torches. So I had some sticks in there. Let's make some of these. This is one problem with this side of my house, guys. That got that big open space there. It's annoying. Got to fill that up. But I basically want to show you the T flip flop because I thought it was a really cool one. So let me get this like this you put that on there and then you put redstone on top of that because basically when you press that button you want the power to go from this block to this and then go on top of this block and because the torch is on that block and the redstone's on top of it what it will do it will turn off that torch and that's exactly what we want but now what we want to do we want to get our redstone block and we need to put it this uh let's have a look at this one yeah we need to put it here we need to put our redstone block here like that and then what we are going to do, we are going to get a comparator, I think. I think that's what we need right now. Let's have a double check. Uh, no, we need a sticky piston. That's what we need. Let's put the sticky piston. Sticky piston needs to go one block away from it like that. Then we are going to get our comparator. And then we will put the comparator there. And we will put a redstone repeater there. And then another comparator into that block there and then we'll get our redstone and, and go around into that and that is basically the t flip flop working now this is going to be your output block so any blocks connected to this will light up so if i just do that and it does that which is cool um this t flip flop doesn't need this torch to be here so you could do it straight from there just power it and it would work the only reason I put that torch there is because if you put a torch into a T flip flop, you might have seen it with old style T flip flops. It kind of like supercharges it, it makes it a lot faster than what it should be. Um, so let me press this button to show you how it works. Press this button, it turns it off. Perfect. And I'll do this again. You see, it does like a little quick tick there. So let me do it again, see if I can show you quickly. Drags it in. If we do that, drags it back out and leaves it there. Really cool and it should it's washing up all my torches it should just make the water go down so that is the mechanism what we're going to use for each one of these sides even for the never wart we're going to have here that's why i haven't put dirt there because we're going to use soul sand um i wanted to cover up this redstone here so i did this little kind of funky technique where you with the corner stairs so you put it like that oh i don't think i showed you guys that i was asking you what should i do about covering up the redstone this is what i did I put stairs there and I put wooden stairs like a corner one there and it kind of covers it up perfectly I think it looks good what I'm going to do I'm going to put a chest like here uh, let me go and put the chest there actually I'll show you what I'm going to do because I want to incorporate hoppers into this and the, the best way I thought of doing that is to have two chests in the middle of the farm so let me get these chests right now and I kind of want some whoa where are you Where's he going? Where's Mini Zombie going? Oh, he's after the villagers. Now where's the golem? Come on golem, come and kill him. <gasps> They're not doing anything. Damn golems. Where are you? 
I created you guys, you should be listening to me. Where have they gone? Oh, stupid golems. Damn it. Anyway, let's get back to the farm. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to use two chests. So all the farms harvest into two chests. I think that's the most efficient way to do it, the way I've got it set out here. But what I'm going to do... Oh, yeah, I wanted to make hatches. Is it hatches? Trapdoors? Whatever they're called. Um, have I got... I've got enough wood here. I want to make... Let's make two of them quick. Get rid of that. I'm going to make a couple of them, and I'm going to put the chests, like, in this area here. Let's get some dirt. I'm going to put the chests there. So I'm going to have a chest like that, and I have another one. Oh, I don't think that's going to work, actually. Um, I'll tell you what I can do. Let's get rid of this. Should use my axe. Don't rage. I'm going to put the chest there, like that. That should work. And then, what I can do... I can have that slab back, actually. I can put that slab back there, and I can put a hatch over it here. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Because basically the hoppers are going to run from this into that chest and run from this into that chest there. But I kind of need a hopper. Just trying to think, trying to think. Um, will that chest stop the water? Hold on. Oh, no. I can get rid of that block there. Wait, wait, we can do this. I can get rid of this block here. So we can have the chest like this. Yeah, we can have the chest like that. So the hoppers will run and go straight into that chest. And it'll run from this side and go straight into that chest too. So when I harvest my farms, they'll automatically go into this chest here like that. And I'll just, I'll cover it up around down the bottom so you can't see it. And then I have the same here as well with another hatch. I might as well put it there just to show you guys what I'm going to do. So put another hatch there. And each of my farms will harvest into these little areas here. That is my plan. That's what I want to do. My, I messed up my farm. Might as well harvest it now. Put that wheat back in there. Yeah, that is the plan. That's what I want. That is what I want to do. I think that's going to work out good though. We've got both the flip-flops working. This one works as well. Show you it. So I'm going to wire that up on each side, um, each four of these sections. We're going to have wheat, we're going to have carrots, we're going to have potato, we're going to have never warts. And then this section over here, which we dug out in the live stream, is going to be my tree farm. We're going to need to cover this part up here. Huh, we've got another Trevor. Trevor's, this must be his brother or something. This is Raymond. Trevor and Raymond. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I, I, I like having buttons instead of levers. I think they look much, much better. I don't know, it's just me being picky, I guess. But I need to make a trip to the, ne the nether soon because I am running low on quartz, glowstone, and I have no soul sand. So we need to go a trip to the nether. That might be an interesting episode. Might do it in a live stream. Not 100% sure yet. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully I can get this finished in by Sunday's episode. By the live stream on Sunday, I'm hoping to get all of this finished here. And then we can start working on the shout out room and i still haven't finished the sugarcane farm that's because i still haven't got silk touch so yeah <laughs> um let's actually do an enchant right now i'm gonna try again everyone's screaming at me oh there you are why didn't you go and kill the zombie there's a mini zombie up there you should have killed him but yeah everyone's screaming at me stop enchanting picks da -da -da -da. enchant books i want to do picks because i need this pick i need to get my silk touch on a pick i think it even works on a shovel doesn't it yeah, I might look that up, but I'm going to do a pick in this one. So what I'm thinking, is it more likely to get Silk Touch on a shovel, or can you get it on a pick? What's what's the better chances? I know it's something like 7% to get it on a diamond pick at level 28. Something like that. So that's what we're going to go for. I'm going to go for level 28 again. I know one torch does level 28, so we're good. So let's put, put that there, like that. Oh, it's level 30. Let's put you there. Pick up. Level 28. Efficiency and unbreaking. I've got so many of them picks. I'm the unluckiest person ever to get Silk Touch. I think I'm going to end up enchanting a friggin' gold gold pickaxe just so I can get Silk Touch. It'll probably die after about breaking three blocks. But look at all these picks I've got now. I've got efficiency, free, fortune, I'm breaking. I'm breaking free, efficiency, free. I'm breaking fortune, efficiency, I'm breaking fortune, efficiency, I'm breaking fortune, efficiency, I'm breaking fortune, and I'm breaking. Jesus, I'll probably mix them two together, get whatever, I don't know. I need my silk touch. 
I might actually buy one of someone off the server. If, if you're watching the video, comment, uh, dude from Ukraine, anyone. Um, if you've got silk tights, tell me how much you'd sell it to me for and I'll buy it off you. If it's diamonds, whatever, I will buy it. Let me know because I really want my silk tights so I can finish my sugarcane farm and all my other stuff. But yeah, guys, let me check how long I've been actually recording. Oh, wrong one. Uh, oh, wow, really long. Right, guys, I think I'm going to call it an episode right now. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We're going to get this farm finished. I showed you that little, ni nice little neat uh, sugarcane farm. Again, I want to thank all of you guys for being so supportive in the last episode. It really does mean a lot. You're not, you're going to ignore me, aren't you? Yeah, go and get them. I don't care. Um, yeah, um, you guys were so supportive in the last episode. Me and Zai, we both thank you so much. You're amazing, honestly. You guys uh, really are. I can't thank you all enough because you're just all so supportive. But yeah, guys, I'm going to call this episode an end. So now I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in another video.